Okay, my friends, this is going to be a hoot. Scientists have figured out T-Rexes could have been much bigger than they thought. And they think they've figured out exactly about how, how big they could be and how many there were on the Earth back when they all died. So let's see if, if we can agree or disagree with their findings and can we present any evidence to discount or prove their findings. All right, let's just go right to the heart of the matter. A new study estimates statistically the largest T-Rex could actually have been 70% more massive than the largest specimen they have on record now. That's a whopping weight of around 15,000 kilograms, which is about 30,000 pounds. Now, compared to our largest fossil, T-Rex Scotty, who was estimated to have tipped the scales at 8,800 kilograms when he died. Now, this paleontologist Jordan Malone from the Canadian Museum of Natural Paleontology, David Hone from Queen's Mary University of London, interrogate the issue. They're going to interrogate it. They're really going to look into it. That many life scientists face when trying to estimate the size range of creatures and species based on a small sample of, of remains. And so this is with the sample size, apparently, and this is what they say, oh, it could be the size. But they only have scraps. Now, as you know, I discovered mud fossils, had them DNA tested, and I'm going to show you something. That's a person standing in front of here. Now, if I, my mud fossils are body parts of creatures that were absolutely enormous and this is just this is like as I will show you these were not even of any consequence whatsoever okay I've been showing this since about 2015 and it's backed up by ancient texts to talk about this exact event and this exact creature which I'll show you and this one too now again we're talking about creatures T-Rex you know little, little tiny things this is literally a creature that whole thing and I'm going to show it to you right now I've been showing this since 2015. This is his head. This is the neck that runs all the way down. And this is a dragon called Typhon. All right, now there's his head. Let's, let's, let's sink in for a minute. All right, this is Typhon. I just colored this in so you could see. He's spitting out all that fire and toxic stuff at a gigantic fish which you see in a moment all this is runoff from his dead decomposing body the throat runs all the way down as I will show you he has a red flared eye which is also written in the text all of this flashy stuff is from his you know like on the parades you see him you know on the parades in china and so forth and it feeds his beards which is the source of this toxin it's very interesting to really look at the details so don't forget what you're seeing here all right that's typhon all of this is just runoff so let's go back to google and here he is on google all right that's all the stuff he's spitting out Right, there's his head, his red flared flashing eye, Ex exactly what it says in the ancient text, he had a red flared eye, his hair was all unkempt and feathery and fluffy. This is his throat, that's his throat, runs all the way down, and it's called, I think the Draco Valley or Drog Valley, it's the Dragon Valley. Now. It runs all the way down, 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 until it gets to his gut. This is all his neck. That's all his neck. And then you get to his body, which is whole thing. This is this is Africa. Now you take the size of a T Rex. You'd never find him there in a million years. You'd never even know he was there. He would be a parasite something to, to like an amoeba or something like a bacteria on top of this creature and that's just a fact I, I mean you could laugh at me and say you know because it is kind of funny how 
we think they're just so enormous. And this thing's 1,200 miles long. And it's still, the throat is here. Here's all those dragon scales. You see his throat coming down, coming down, coming down, coming down. This is where his scales are right here. This is the throat. You see these scales? That's his throat. Now, don't forget, I told you, this stuff down here means nothing. Down here is just all the runoff of his dead, decaying, slurpy body. Back here is where his body is. And this is the extent of his body here. And all that is just runoff of a decaying corpse. Alright, this is the kind of thing that happened with the dragon. It died and the body is here and the effluent ran off. All right, so you've seen how this stuff just runs off. That's the body. This is the throat. Let's go back to Google. All right, here we got Typhon. From here all the way down across North Africa is just what it is. Now I'm going to go down his throat. Remember we saw all the runoff, which was just this effluent that runs off. So here's his head. His nose comes around all the way down. And then he just gets all raggedy over here. This, we're going to focus in on the throat and the scales. Again, just runoff. Just dirty runoff. Muddy runoff. All right, so here's the scales. This is the inside of his throat. The, this is the outside. No, the, it's caved in. You know, water's all collected in here. You can see, even with the shade, that this is up high and this is caved in and the water ends up running down here to Draco Valley or whatever. Now, these are dragon scales and they're hinged. That's so he can move his neck around. You see all this? This is not just accidental runoff. Look at this. That's in his throat. Look at this. And this is around the edges of his throat to hold it. This thing is just basically impenetrable. Look at that. All the way down, all the way down, all the way down, all the way down. That's not just little hills and valleys. That, that is dragon scales. And so he's pretty flexible with all these little notches in between. Now it comes down, it just keeps coming down, coming down, coming down, coming down, coming down. This is just a little runoff. It means nothing really. This is all runoff. Now, so here's the outside, all outside. It comes all the way down until we hit here. And then what happens? We got a gash straight across the throat. This is his throat. This whole thing was his throat. And it's gashed straight across here. That's why we're now, instead of this color, we see black and we see red. And what is black and red? That's the colors of vein, black, and red artery. And here they are where he was slashed with his throat. Now that's, that's going to take a pretty serious gash to do that. But it did. So now what happens? Stuff collects in here, runs off down here, and, and they made a little dam down here. At one time, I guess they had enough water, they could actually dam it up. And, and not too long ago, there was water back in here. I, I saw there was. I mean, I started looking at this about, oh, five, six, seven years ago. And I, I don't think it was dry like this. I don't remember it being black, black, black. Well, I know it wasn't black, black, black. There was... There was actually water coming through here. There was people living here. I don't know if they're even still living here anymore. But coming out of here, there was red blood, and now it looks like all black blood. But see down here, the green, and all the red, this is red blood. And literally, I'm not kidding you, that was red blood coming out of there. And it collected in these, in this plain here. And that's why the green things grow so well, because they love red blood. Now this is, it looks to me like the remnants of whatever was still vital. And again, it wasn't that long ago, I was looking at this and this was all green, the whole area down there was, you know, there was 
some significant amount of moisture here. And now I don't see it. But anyway, the neck keeps going down, down, down. Of course, it's been cut and not a thing is dying. But that's the black and the red. That's the difference between just, you know, decay and runoff of fluids from effluents. This is actual blood. That's why it's black and red. Now, let's just, I, I've shown this so many times, it's, uh, it's getting boring to do it. You can see his poop coming out here. They, they have a cloaca. Right, you see right there, they used to live here. I don't, well, I guess they still do. Because it's still green. All right, now that area right there is where he poops. And it comes out of there, and I'll show you the spot. And it's still fertile. It comes right out here. And these are dragon scales right here, see? And it comes right out here. Now, in a cloaca, you have the, the poop comes one side and the urine comes the other, and here's the urine. It comes down here, and then they come out together, they join together into here, and, and they come out as like bird poop. It's on the end here. Now, you keep going down past his throat and his body and his tail. Over here, we're going to see some more dragon scales. And then again, this is the runoff. This is what they call the effluent. And in this case, it's dipped down this way. So the bloody stuff runs off, just sort of dribbles out of there over the course of time. And that's this. The same thing as the, the hinges, and these are the dragon scales. Right. They're not just laying here for no reason. That's part of his body. And again, it was in the ancient text. And he was attacking this gigantic fish. Also written, he said the gods had to change themselves into animals to try to get away. And Typhon attacked them. And this one got whacked. Right there, that's where all this stuff came all the way down to his, to his back. This is the fin. All right, take your time. Slow down, you move too fast. You gotta make the moment last. There's his head. What's going on there? He's spitting all this stuff on here, trying to attack this fish. The fish is gigantic too. Look at the size of the fish. This is the fish's tail. All right, there's the back of his head. I think this is his eye. I don't know what that is. Just forget about that part, because I think that's his eye. And the scales go this way, you see it? That would mean he's going that direction. And this is his tail, and it's partially buried. All right, now, up here, all of that venom, or whatever it is, come down on his back and ate right through the, the, the scales. You can actually see all the blood vessels, everything in there, lymphatic system, everything, in extreme details. Now, once again, he's got beards. You see these two beards? One right here, one right here, and he's spitting all this stuff together, and it mixes somehow with what's up in his nose. And they come together. You see this stuff is coming down? And it hits the stuff coming out of his beard. And between the two of them, they come down and they really cause havoc. And ate right into the fish's flesh. Right through the scales. You can, you, there's no scales left. You're right down into the, into the um, blood vessels, the arteries, the veins, the lymph ducts the capillaries, the blood vessels. Here's the lymphatic system, you can see it. I mean, you can see everything flawlessly. This is better than a, a, a microscope. This is better than an electron microscope. Look at this. Look at the detail. Look at this. This is where the arteries come down, then they turn into blood vessels, then they turn it to capillaries, and then they dump the, the last little bits into the art, uh, veins, and that's the veins. 
All right, look at this. Again, this is where it's coming down. With still, this is the vital stuff is in here still. That's why you got things growing here. Those are bushes growing in the red blood. It still was vital at this point, but then at the capillaries it pinches it off, and and then it dumps the remainder into the vein. Now look at this. You see all this little webbing down here. That is your lymphatic system, or the fishes. And that pulls back all the last remaining moisture, but no big particulates. You see how tiny these little filaments are? They're all over your body. There's four times as much fluids going through this stuff as blood in your body. It's everywhere. You see it? It's picking up all the fluids that are left over. And then, of course, your, your artery blood goes back up to your organs to get recharged and fall fixed back up again but this is just unbelievable and we can actually see the lymphatic system working or actually failing all right because it spit down here and this is where all that nasty green stuff was and it ends up coming down here and invading around the edges here you see that green stuff coming in This is literally the response of the body was to send up all that fluid, and it had to send it. Well, that's all lymph. That's all lymph fluids going up there. You see them? And they're trying to pick up this green stuff and get it the hell out of the body. So all of these little lymph fluid bits, tubes, basically tubes, they grab a hold of that stuff and they start to drag it out of this area. Well, there's so much of it, they come down here and they're just dying on the way, actually. All of that stuff is, is killing everything on the way. And by the time it gets to the lymph no nodes, which are down here, the lymph nodes can't handle it. That's a lymph node. All of that fluid is coming down with all that noxic stuff. And it's supposed to get filtered here. Well, here's the filters. You see this? This is better than a micro, the electron microscope. You could never see this, I don't think, with an electron microscope. These are all the filters. And from the lymph fluids coming down here with all this nasty stuff in it, it's trying to get cleaned up and it's too much and it killed the, the lymph node and that's why it turned black and bubbled up and the same thing with this one that one got killed too this one got killed all of them got killed trying to to fight back this whole line of them all the way down that's all lymph nodes and they're all dead now because of that and then i don't know what happened after that they both end up dying laying there but as you just saw that is biology that you can't even, you, you can't go see that anywhere. You can't see it other than here. And here you've seen it. It's, 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 I, I don't know what to say other than that it is what it is, and it's time to discuss it as normal thinking human beings, not scared to run away and hide. I mean, it is scary, and I can see why you might run away, run away and hide, but and if people do that, I don't care. I really don't care. But I would like to see the people that are are spouting out, telling you what you have to believe. To get a passing grade in school and so forth. That, that's not right. If they won't address this, it's just not right at all.